Hey, what's going on guys? Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about this new wall technique. This is the tricky walls, taking out these little gaps in your compartments to make it more difficult to enter with wall breakers. It's become really popular since the super wall breaker has become so strong and reliable. Um, it's a great counter to that. A lot of people are saying it's the best thing since sliced bread and troll Teslas. We're going to talk about it in today's video because there's times to use it and there's times to not use it. The basic idea is that you can see these two compartments are the exact same besides the corner walls taken out in the case of the tricky walls uh, use there. Um, the idea is a wall breaker or a super wall breaker more often in friendly wars uh, will come in and just open up directly to wherever it's deployed, um, which makes it really easy for a spam attack that wants to enter in one of these compartments or a queen charge that wants to come at this inferno tower, for example. What this does is assuming that the strip of walls here is not too long, in which case the wall breaker will target it, um, it's gonna make the wall breaker instead go around, target that next layer of walls, or more often go to the side, target those walls. If there's a compartment on the other side, go and target those walls. So the wall breaker AI is such that it will not target this strip of walls because the corners have been taken out. It no longer views it as a compartment that it needs to open up. So um, it's a definitely a very interesting technique. There's also a variation where um, in a corner compartment, you would have it um, like that and you can have some uh, walls to kind of block off an easy entry uh, there making it even trickier and you can kind of have that go farther if you'd like um, so one thing to keep in mind is the compartment next to whatever compartment you're dealing with um, you got to do the same thing because a wall breaker deployed right here will just kind of go up open up that and it'll basically take down these walls uh, essentially opening up the compartment where the attacker most likely was gonna come in anyway. So you gotta make sure the compartments next to it go by the same principle. So instead, you'd maybe do something like that um, and maybe uh, have a, say, a gap there, and then you can have you know more walls coming out like that. So you'd wanna do the same thing in the neighboring compartments too to prevent someone from just taking advantage of the fact that there's a closed compartment right next to whatever compartment you're trying to protect. So, big picture, should you use this? Well, you might think, okay, well, if you have a gap in your base, troops can just walk in through these corner gaps, and that's true to some extent. So let's take a look at a replay that shows the weakness of this strategy. Um, hopping into this war real quick, we'll just take a look at part of one attack. Don't wanna burn the base too badly because it wasn't tripled here. Um, essentially, what's happening is this queen compartment right there has two layers of the tricky walls, and it is designed to make it so you can't easily queen charge into that compartment with like a super wall breaker opening up that wall, then a super wall breaker opening up that next wall. Um, it is designed to make that type of entry difficult, but in the case of like a Sui Hero Lalo like this, what it's gonna do is allow the king to just walk in and target the queen uh, without the use of any jump spell, wall breakers, or anything. So basically giving a free entry for these heroes. And the main reason this is possible is because the type of compartment and where it's located on the base. And that is gonna be what determines whether or not you should use the tricky walls. Um, so we'll back out of this. Um, this attack did not triple, but it was a very nice opener, which is the point uh, of showing that. So if we take a look at this um, semi-finished base, I would not recommend using it, but if you do, let me know how it does. Um, it's a partially finished base. Um, we're gonna look at why you would use tricky walls and why you wouldn't. So in this case, um, they were used because this compartment's jutted out of the base, and that is the best time to use this because it's gonna make it the most difficult to uh, funnel the queen or whatever troops into the base. Uh, so if you have compartments that are jutted out and there's just this empty space on the outside of the base on either side, it's more likely that the queen will step up and instead of going in this little gap right here, she'll go all the way around this way or all the way around that way. If there's a neighboring compartment, the difference is the walls of that neighboring compartment are gonna help push her back in towards that inferno tower, towards that mortar, whereas if they're not there, um, it's more likely the queen or whatever troops are uh, in question are gonna wander more. 
So use it for compartments that are jutted out of the base. Maybe you have um, an Inferno Tower compartment that you're purposely keeping away from the, the core. Um, this is another good example up here. You can see this compartment relative to the ones next to it is very jutted out. And um, in that case, it works nicely. There's a, a gap behind that Archer Tower, if you couldn't already tell, kind of hidden there, which is cool. Um, so in this case, the wall breakers are not gonna target you know, this layer of wall or this layer of wall. Um, making it more difficult to queen charge this part of the base. Now, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna wanna put a skeleton trap just to prevent what we saw in the last attack, which is an easy situation of using the king or a P.E.K.K.A. or whatever to kind of come in there and take advantage of the opening. Because um, you, you know, you're you giving them a free uh, pass to have something walk in there, assuming the funnel is not too difficult for like the king uh, in many cases. Now. This compartment, we're not using tricky walls. Reason being, there's neighboring compartments that are equally as far out of the base. And so even if we had the tricky walls like that, say, it would be still relatively easy to funnel something into there, and then you just wouldn't have to use the wall breaker, which would take up around eight troop space, um, but you can still get something to go into the base. There's also a lot of damage there, uh, covering a queen charge potentially. So you don't have to worry as much about a queen charge if it's covered by a lot of damage, especially air defenses on either side that can pick off healers. That air defense is probably better off over there to make it even trickier. Um, in th these cases, there's less defenses in the area, meaning that you're gonna have to rely more on the tricky layout to make it difficult to funnel things in, rather than brute force having a bunch of expos and air defenses to kill um, a queen charge, which is typically what this is used to defend. Um, same thing over here. Uh, the, there's less damage, the compartment's jetted out. That's when you wanna use it, not when it's um, just a regular compartment that's next to other regular compartments and it's already covered by other things that can defend a queen charge um, or possibly defend a spam attack. So um, that's a very high level overview of the tricky walls. The main takeaway guys is they work in some cases, it just depends on where on your base it's located. Um, leave a comment if you have a question, something you want me to clarify, I'll be sure to check them out, give some more feedback. If you're interested in your own custom war bases that use techniques like these, check out my Patreon. Uh, one of the perks, you get custom war bases each month. Um, a lot of happy customers over there on the Discord, which also has other services. So check that out, link in the description if you're interested. Last thing, um, you guys who follow my videos may have noticed, I put out a poll, as I like to do, to uh, kind of get your guys' ideas on certain things within the game. This poll, as always, presented by my creator code Bisect. You have to enter it every week, guys. Um, to make sure that I still get the benefits associated with it. So if you haven't recently, go in your settings, enter my creator code, really appreciate it. But to the results of that poll, which troop, if you had to choose, would you never use in a war attack again? If you had to give up one troop forever, what would it be? And the overwhelming majority of the four choices uh, was the golem. And um, I can see how people don't use it in many attacks. My most recent video had the Witch strategy, which did use golems, but uh, by and large, golems are not used much anymore, so I could see how people would put that. Baby Dragon was the lowest, because lots of different funneling uh, techniques use it. It's a very versatile troop. The Giant, also similar to the Golem, isn't used much, mainly because the Ice Golem's been so popular. Um, the Minion, kind of in between, but I think a lot of people use it for cleanup, attack, uh, for, cleanup for Lalo attacks. So I, I can see why it's popular. My only defense to the Golem would be that um, if it comes back into the meta, it would really suck not to have it. The other troops, I don't ever see them really being an integral part of an attack. You can always kind of get around having to use them by using a similar troop. Um, maybe the minions would be difficult to substitute out, but you could use wizards or goblins for cleanup. Um, so I would say that uh, I would choose the giant if it was me. But that's my personal choice, and I guess about a third of you would agree with me. Anyway, stay tuned for another poll. I love putting those out there, seeing what you guys think about certain things, then going over the results in, these, in this video. Um, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Look to use those tricky walls where you can, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, 
bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.